She's sort of the brunette nemesis, is how Jerry always describes her. Um, she spends most of the first act and part of the second act being pretty cruel. And yet, it becomes obvious eventually that she is a nice person with integrity and a conscience. And those things have to be in evidence from the beginning. The Vivian we have gone for uh, is sort of rational from the very beginning. One of the very first things that Vivian says when Elle accuses her of setting her up and getting her thrown out of class, she just says, I didn't get you thrown out of class, you just weren't prepared. Which is exactly right. That you know, coming from some, if, if the person telling Elle that were smiling and, and hugging her, it would be comforting, but coming from somebody who's as tall, beautiful, and, and impressive as, as uh, Kate Schindler, it can be terrifying. The biggest challenge was definitely making sure her priorities were very clear, like one is to be successful at Harvard, two is to hopefully hang on to Warner, and three is when she's got some spare time to try and get rid of Elle. But the second you place all of Vivian's emphasis on you know, making Elle unhappy, then it starts to ring really untrue, and it starts to feel really false to do it. She's a real threat. I mean, if, you know, if she were dating my ex-boyfriend, you know, I'd be nervous. I think that she, you know, has a, a great sort of weight of expectation on her shoulder, sort of family expectation. And so she does want to be president, and she does want to nominate Supreme Court justices, as she says, and she does want to have a gorgeous house in the Hamptons and a house on Cape Cod and, you know, things like that. Um, but I think that what gets lost is, is whether or not she's happy. It's a funny thing about the show. They're, they're, the, the villains, if you want to call Vivian a villain, if you want to call Callahan a villain, they're not really villains in the sense of a villain. They're people who think one way and either they make a transition or they don't. Most of the transition I make is through listening. and. Um, being willing to give someone the benefit of the doubt when this is a character that you wouldn't necessarily expect to do that. Talk about visual impact. I mean, the woman is stunning. And the one thing I kept saying to Kate was presidential. You are presidential. You must always be presidential. And even though you have a slight one-liner here and there where you dig at L, you have, to, you have to take it on the high road, never steep, make her rise to your level. And, and I think she does it beautifully. Kate Schindel has a, a great presence and carriage, and I think you hear Miss America and you think, instantly you feel insecure. <laughs> you know, oh, she's Miss America? Well, you know, um, and there's something that inspires that, you know, that you don't want to be in competition with Miss America. I haven't done a lot of big, splashy musical comedies. Actually, this is maybe the first. It's certainly the first of this size. The thing about our show is that it's smart enough to engage people who need a little smarts to go with their cotton candy.